Hey y'all, welcome back. Thank you and subscribe before we start. All right, so I'm actually doing this video and I did this, this video is quite old. This is when I did my tray with the paintings I was doing. And these are acrylic paint mixed in with some plaster. Plaster of Paris is a brand. And it's, I'm a very, I'm, of a blender so i like to blend my paints when i'm painting but since i can't do that i basically have to color block so i'm doing a little nice minimalistic skyline and you probably see them all over the place and i decided okay let me try doing that because that's not really my art style but let's see what it's going to look like and since i love the way the texture of plaster players hits these concrete trays I mix that in and as you can see as it's drying it's giving this little matte solid look with very minimal brush strokes which is what I was looking for when I made this mixture now of course I'm gonna start with the lightest because whenever you're doing these type of I don't know if you've seen those paintings where if they're looking to a forest whatever's the farthest from you is lighter and whatever is closest to you is darker if that makes any sense but you'll see what I'm talking about so let's say this is like a hilly mountain with mountain and there's no actual drawing or reference that I'm looking at but I'm just putting it in like a gradient because that's usually how it is if there's a light coming from a light source coming from somewhere there's a gradient somewhere else so it's be a gradient of colors All right, so now I've gotten from my lightest color to my mid color. All right, so that's how you usually start it. And of course I had sketched it first. So probably after sketching it, what I do is I go over it that way because otherwise I can't just, I don't know, I'm not skilled at painting without my brain, <laughs> with just my brain. I have to either use reference to draw it out and then just, you know, freestyle it as I go. And this is what I was talking about. The darker object is what's closest to you. The lighter object is what's farthest from you. And I decided to use blue and it's supposed to be hills. Hey, it could be oceans. It could be hills. It could be clouds to you. All I know is that it looks nice. And I only did a first coat just to get that general color and I'm going in for a second coat so that way I can cover anything I miss get in those nooks and crannies and make sure if I want to keep those colors as well because sometimes you may not want to keep with some exact colors you might want to mix it and I'm going over it and it really gives it a nice finished touch and you really only need two coats and if it's three or four it might turn out cakey but not too bad but it does give it a professional look it's not going to give that cricket look though <laughs> that's a whole different story but if you want to see a video about me putting designs onto a tray with cricket i could definitely do that i haven't tried doing it yet um of course i can't use htv vinyl we use permanent adhesive vinyl so I can probably do, and I have a lot of permanent adhesive vinyl sitting around waiting to be used. And I can probably just make some trays with some vinyl. All right, so now that I've gotten my skyline sunlight, the sunlight of the sky done, and just put in, putting my finished touches to it, there you go. And I'm gonna go ahead and start this sun. Because you always want to start with your farthest on your painting and then do the closest last. So the farthest first, closest last. I'm saying that and I know when I be making my paintings, I don't. <laughs> The background is what I always focus on doing first. What if like I, I want to do background after I've painted my focal point, my subject. So it's kind of like, eh. but when you do something like this, it's very minimal. You start from the farthest to the closest. 
so I have a little light little rim ray and I added some birds on there I didn't even know I was adding those birds so there they are but this looks bomb! I love it and now I want to make sure I seal and secure it so see y'all later make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this one